Hi everybody, so today I'm going to do an unboxing, so this is not a Bible as you already know, but uh, this is a gift from a friend, and as soon as I cut it open and started to open the box, the neighbor decided that he was going to mow his lawn, and it got, it was just too loud, so I just closed it, haven't looked in it, and waited for about 40 minutes till he was done with all the noise making, so now we get to start over again. But one thing I did want to point out is where this is from. So this is from the penoutpost.com. They've also got an eBay store. And on my pen channel, I did a large purchase with them. And I think I bought about 187 little samples of ink. So it's little like three to five mil little vials of ink that I purchased and did an unboxing of. and. The customer service I got from them was just fantastic. So I definitely recommend them if you're into fountain pens and ink. Definitely check them out at either just their main website or their eBay store. So now we're going to go ahead and tear into this. And kind of kind of angle it just because I don't know if there's paperwork in here. And it looks like there is some papers here. All right, so there's a little thanks from them. And then we've got a little note that says, get well soon. And then the website is thepenoutpost.com where the customers always write. So I like that. So my friend had them write a note to me. So that's pretty cool. All right, we will tear into this. Oh, that is way too cool. So we have a bottle of diamine ink. So that is diamine teal. So this is going to be their, should be the 30 mil bottle, I believe. So it is the 30 mil bottle, which is going to be one ounce. So, and I know that, uh, Amazon sells these as well, so for those of you who like Amazon, I'll put a link in the description box for that. But definitely check out the penoutpost.com. And one thing that I did not do was to grab something to put down here. So I'm kind of just looking for something that I can lay down in case there's any spillage. We don't want spillage. All right, so I'm just going to set this down. All right, so we've got the bottle of the teal ink, which I'm sure is beautiful. So it's going to be this color here that's on the bottom. All right, we have a fountain pen. So this is going to be a Kaveco, which is a German company since 1883. So a long, long time. So we've got a medium nib. So this is a Perkeo Old Chambray, so I'm guessing, and then it's an ink cartridge fountain pen. We've got right on, and then there's the number there, so I'll put some links in the description box. All right, so see if I can get this out of there without demolishing it. All right, so we've got three cartridges. So it's got an ergo grip, so that's gonna be like a, they call it, some of them call it like a tripod type grip, just the way that your hand holds the pen. So those are the different colors of ink cartridges. And it's looking like, I would imagine we probably have blue since the little end there is blue, but some different colors there. I'm sure that that gray is pretty cool. So we've got a matte octagonal cap and 16 edged barrel harmonized perfectly. Okay, so we're going to take this out of here. If I can get a hold of it. There, there we go. That actually wants to come out of there fairly easily. All right, so 
So we've got the cap, which shows Kaveco on there, and then it also says Germany. And then on the top of the cap, it says Kaveco, but the camera doesn't want to focus too well. So this is going to be a medium nib. So this here, this section there, shows you where to put your fingers when you're writing with it. And then they've got that main section there. So we're going to have a screw off. Oh, and it looks like we have an empty cartridge. So that is cool. That means that you can use like a syringe and like a blunt tip needle and fill it with that. And it looks like we've got another cartridge in there as well. And it looks like Looks like that is probably blue, but it says Kaveco on there. I don't know if you can see it, but... All right, so we'll try this one, because it does look the same as all the others. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna... So I snapped that in there to puncture it, because there's a little plastic piece, and I don't know how well the camera will focus, but you see that little like bubble right there? There's a spot on the pen on the inside here that when you push that down, that's going to puncture that and then allow the ink to get down into the feed. And sometimes it takes a minute or two for the ink to get down there. So sometimes I'll just squeeze that a little bit. So I'm going to set this upside down for a minute, see if we can get the ink flowing in there. And we will look at the the die mine. So one thing that's kind of convenient with cartridges is the fact that you can refill them, but then you can buy those little six packs, which is going to be a small box. So if you've got a pen case to have those with you, you're always going to have enough ink. All right, so I've got a different notepad over here as well, but we're going to try this out. And I was cleaning pens earlier, so I already had some of my stuff out. And my hands are already a little bit messy. Because I already, earlier I filled the Lamy and then this, and I'm not sure how you pronounce the brand. But I'll put it in the description box. So these are actually really cool pens as well. But I had my pen stuff out and I always have q-tips so that when I clean a pen I can dry stuff out. So we're going to go ahead and check out this ink. I'm going to try it on both of these papers because I don't know, I mean these are just regular notebooks so they may not be real user friendly with fountain pen ink. But that's a pretty color. And this is just a, just a cheap notebook. We've got a nice, pretty teal. And the better the paper, the better the ink is going to look because not all paper is fountain pen friendly. All right. So that's a pretty color. And we can see that it's pretty different on both of those papers. This is going to be a higher end paper. I think this is, I don't know if the, I don't think I have the thing on it that says the GSM, but it's about twice as thick as your standard paper. So we'll see if this is ready yet. Okay, in fact, I'm going to zoom you in so you can see this. Oh, and it looks like we're, we've got ink. So that is nice and smooth. And that ink looks like maybe it's a, like a royal blue or it almost kind of looks purple in the right light. 
but that's really smooth. And I'm writing sloppy because the tripod is literally right there. So I'm just going to kind of, in fact, I'll get you a little bit closer there. That's really smooth. So this is just regular writing. And then if you want to make a finer line, you can flip the pen the other direction. I don't know if this one will work too well on reverse writing, but we'll try it. And it looks like it does. Boy, and in the light, it's kind of, to the naked eye, it's looking more purple on the ink, but it really could just be blue and maybe the way that the camera is. But next to that, next to that teal, it does look purple to me. And you can already see the, the difference there on that paper, but it didn't go through there. And it started to there, but that's put on there pretty thick. And that color pretty much matches the lid on that. So that will be very fun to write with and to check out the, the teal ink once that runs out of there because that'll be a perfect one to put in there because you can see how well that color matches that cap because I like to somewhat color coordinate the inks with the pens this one this Lamy Safari has this one's got the Waterman inspired blue so that next to this color here does make that other one almost look purple If you don't have a fountain pen, I suggest you get one because they are pretty neat. This one is a metal fountain pen off Amazon, and I'll link it. And that ink is called Rome Burning, which is a noodler's ink, which is really pretty. But I use fountain pens every day, like multiple times a day. I always have usually anywhere from seven or eight of them next to me with different colored inks. And I always keep the same color of ink in each one makes it easier to clean and everything so this one here because that matches that that ink and that cap color matches really well I think I'll probably run this cartridge out because they're pretty small that's not a very big cartridge they look almost like a international short cartridge but I believe that the Kaveco pens have propri proprietary cartridges to where you have to buy theirs but I'd have to look because I don't really remember, but that is an awesome, awesome gift. I absolutely love it. And I just did also get some new journals and stuff. So that's going to be awesome to use for that. This also has a snap cap. I forgot to show that. So makes it nice and easy. Some fountain pens have screw on caps. So really neat. And it looks like on that end, Looks like it is open on that end. In fact, we can see down at the bottom, if you look down here, you can see light through there. So that would mean that you cannot eyedropper this pen, so you would not be able to just feel the barrel full of ink like you can some. But that's what's also nice too, is the way it had the empty cartridge in it. So that must be something that the pen outpost does as a bonus. Because it says it comes with three, but there was the empty one in there so that I can fill that with whatever type of ink I want but it also you can stick a spare in there and have that to where you've got two cartridges so if one empties you can always just replace it on the go so that is pretty neat so Here's just a quick little message from my friend that sent this to me. Thank you so much. I absolutely love it. That is awesome. And I'm going to be using this tonight, in fact. I'm going to take some Bible study notes with this. So thank you all for watching, and have a great day.